Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll talk to you about for loops. In the previous demo, I created a function that creates SharePoint lists using PowerShell. And of course, now I want to call that function 10 times, so I get 10 lists. Of course, I could do this by simply copy and paste, but copying and pasting code is bad, so I would rather avoid that. So what I would like to do instead is create a for loop that would loop 10 times and create uh, each and every one of these lists that I need because they're going to be numbered lists and that makes sense, right? So to do a for loop, I'm going to write for, and then a parentheses, and then the variable that I'm going to loop on, and that's going to be i just for an integer. I'm going to start by one, and then I'm going to continue looping while that i is less than lt11. So that's going to give me 10 times the loop, right? And I'm going to increase the i every time by 1. So that's going to be a plus plus. So, and again, I'm using this uh, curly brackets to delineate what is going to be done inside this for loop. You recognize the expand collapse here that I have here, the for, and the function works the same. But the for loops, of, of course, takes, builds its own parameter like that. So it's they're, they're different, but you see the same kind of syntax involved there. So now inside that, I'm going to do this. I'm going to call this function 10 times. And again, we indent to make it more readable. And then we do hello world. And then we add the number here, plus i. Um, let's put that in a parenthesis. It's always, again, to make it more readable, uh, but it's because it's the result that will be sent there. And then the list URL is going to be hello world and then plus the i. There we go. And again, parentheses around that because it's the result. We want to calculate that before we send it in. All right. So this is actually it. This will work if we don't already have lists that have those names, of course. But we can just test that. Uh, well, we can just check it first. And let's run this code first and let's see what's in there. So we have a hello world too. That's in there already, and a hello world three. So let's just remove those for now. And then we'll write some code to mass delete also, because we'll do another loop to delete all of these. All right, so now let's uh, run it. Now we're gonna run all the all three rows of this, or actually the one row uh, with the for loop inside the for loop. So I'm just gonna run this now. Let's make sure we have introduced the function. There we go. So I'm just running that. That doesn't do anything because it doesn't. I'm just introducing it by running it like this. But this loop, it does something every time. So now we're going to get 10 lists created. So let's run that. So two, three, four, five. Let's see. Let's go out into SharePoint and see how that looks there. And there you go. And the quick launch is looking a bit troubled now, but that's another story. We can fix that later. All right, here it goes. They're all created anyway. So maybe we shouldn't have put them on the quick launch anyhow. But that's not what I'm trying to show here, how to manage your quick launch. What I am trying to show is how you do a for loop so that you can do lots of work in a quick way, right? So that's, that works. Let's just repeat the whole thing and do the same thing with another for loop. Now I'm, I am going to copy just the for loop there, and then I'm going to remove the uh, list again. So let's just put that in here, remove, and then we want to do the this pit bit here. That's the name of the list, right? List title. So let's take that there and put it there, and then we can just take away the rest. There we go. So now we loop again. And we remove the PNP list with the name hello world space and then the I. So let's run that again. We have put the fours here to not get any confirmations. And we don't want that, of course, when we're doing it 10 times. Here we go. Now it's removing it. Remove. And uh, it takes a little while, of course, but we should see these bedding being removed now. So there we go. We don't have any hello world lists anymore. So now we've created two loops to create 10 lists and remove 10 lists again. That illustrates rather well, I think, how to 
do for loops. As you see, we've also used for loops together with a function. So functions and for loops, those are really powerful concepts. I hope you get a better understanding of them. Thank you for watching this demo.